I love to ride my bicycle. It's so cool. But sometimes we encounter <laughs> uh, a dangerous moment. Uh, like someone that's crossing without <laughs> looking Look at or to watch it. a kid that's running, you know, <laughs> behind a ball or something, or just a worker that's carrying chairs and crossing the bike path. So today's video is prepare for the worst, but always hope for the best. What I mean is always pay attention to... <laughs> Let me show you what this noise is. They're very heavy. <laughs> Back to the video. <laughs> uh, sometimes you do encounter uh, situations that if you prepare before, you know, if you look before and slow down and pay attention and say, actually I have four ways to tell someone that I'm here. But the birds are very happy and very noisy. So uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna show you over there. <laughs> We're going that way. And I'm gonna show you something that you always have to be aware of when you're riding on the street. Uh, why I'm going to the street? Because this bike path had an accident over there. The, the, the land fell down. So they didn't fix it yet. They fixed the other part, but not this part. And there's little places that you have to be aware, you know, especially on curves. And if the road has buses, that's the case. First thing I do, never wear headphones if you're riding the road. Because you have to listen, the big noise is the same, but you have to listen if there comes a bus. So you can slow down and let the bus pass on the curve because it's not a space for both of us. <laughs> There's a bus, there is a curve. What I do? Slow down and let the bus go. Look how close it goes on the curve. It doesn't fit me and him. So I gotta wait again. There's another one. <laughs> and let them make the curve that they need, you know? Check it out. There's no space for me over there. Better safe than sorry. You know, it's better to lose I don't know, three seconds, and now the road's all mine. <laughs> it's amazing, right? <laughs> I told you, they have four ways to say, hello, I'm here. <laughs> uh, usually, I look at the pedestrian to see what kind of pace they are. If they're fixed, you know, they're, they're walking in the right place, you know, very subtle, uh, straight, you can feel it. I just whistle, a very slow whistle. <whistles> like in Camino de Santiago, because the um, pilgrims, they are, you know, meditating, almost meditating, because it's such a beautiful place. So if you yell or if you ring the bell, you know, like, <whistles> it makes a lot of noise. And it, it, it you know, you get spooked. So, what I used to do is like, and when I pass then slow my bike, slow down my bike, and when I pass them, I would say, Buen Camino. <laughs> and that's the same thing I do here. When I see the, the pedestrian, just, it's just a way to tell them that a bicycle is coming. It's a sidewalk at the same time. So. Bom dia, muito obrigada. That's what I, usually what I do when I notice that they know it's a bike path, but they're just walking because the sidewalk also. It's a sheer bike path. And so you just tell them, you know, okay, there's a bicycle coming. 
sometimes they hear the contra pedal I don't know this noise and they move away <laughs> but now sometimes we do have to yell <laughs> so if the pedestrian knows what's happening and I noticed that you know this is just need to be told that a bicycle is coming those are the two ways I do or I whistle very subtle or I just stop pedaling and let the noise if it's not a noisy place tell them but sometimes oh it's amazing <laughs> sometimes we have to kind of yell yes it's terrible but so sometimes if you don't yell uh, you're gonna crash in them and it's even the worst I don't yell but <laughs> I say oi oi it's like see the guy look at me <laughs> it's it's oh I it's like we say hi in, in Brazil so when you say oi oi everybody looks and it's easy you know and it goes far away so discover in your language uh, short two short syllable uh, a short word that can go far away <laughs> the situation those bus they come from the inside of Brazil you know Minas Gerais or other places and they're not used to walk here they travel whole night long see they're not even looking at it what so you better beware you know you better go slow and pay attention if they notice you like those guys in the middle of the street wait and it's always good to be <laughs> careful <laughs> it was fine but sometimes you won't believe it like the kids start running and well what happened is they traveled the whole night long in the bus to come and enjoy the beach. And I'm glad that today is a sunny day and they will have a nice day. <laughs> and then they go up back in the bus and go back to your, their state, you know, somewhere afar from the beach. <laughs> I hope they have a great day. Uh, and sometimes Oh, so that's the third way. And the fourth way, oh, I do use my bell. Yes. Not common though, because I have other bikes and the other bikes don't have a bell. So I, I keep forgetting the bell, but sometimes I do use a bell. <laughs> the Brompton bell, I only use in Europe because it's very, or, or, if I'm in a, in a place that's not noisy, but in the city, uh, not loud enough. So that's why I bought this one. But I use it rarely. Uh, and the fourth way that I do, it's when I wanna, usually it's for people that have no idea about the bike path. I say, bon dia. Bon dia, it's good morning. But in a very um, straight way, you know? So this way I'm saying hi in a nice way. And at the same time and say, come on, please, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Sometimes they don't know that that's a bike path or they're not accustomed or that they're not used to it. So they stay in the middle of the road and you have to say, hey man, <laughs> that's a bike path but what I think is it's not worth it uh, yell yell what I mean is like you know say bad words to someone because sometimes we are thinking about something else or you we are worry we are worried about something else and we didn't do it on purpose so if I sometimes I don't do it on purpose I believe that people don't do it on purpose. So if you just say good morning, 
or uh, you know good to talk <laughs> um, they notice that there's a bike path and they won't make it again I do hope so let me show you more it's a smaller but you can see they stay in the bike path they have no idea Bom dia, bom dia, bom dia. Bom dia, bom dia, bom dia, bom dia, bom dia. Obrigada. <laughs> Look, check it out. You have to watch it, you know. If you don't want to get caught in an accident, beware. Look around, you know. Pay attention. Prepare for the worst and hope always for the best. There goes another one. <laughs> bom dia, bom dia. Bom dia. I have no idea. That's amazing. <laughs> like this happened. There's a guy. See? You have to go into the... So what I'm gonna do is... Hello? Okay, vou passar. Obrigada. Muito obrigada. Bom dia, bom dia. Bom trabalho. See, if you tell them that you're alive, <laughs> you're coming. <laughs> Things will work. <laughs> so be aware all the time. So the great tip is be aware of the surroundings. Yeah. Pay attention to the guy that's walking, the other one that's running. <laughs> Big noise. Uh, Look, if there's a dog without leash, you know, maybe they see a, a cat, they're going running after it. Uh, check for kids, check for people that are working in something, or they just came out of a bus, or a car, or a boat. That happened with me. I was in Germany for a beautiful, beautiful trip in a boat, and all of us got out of the boat and it was a bike path right up front. We almost got hit by the bicycles and they got very mad at us because we didn't know, you know, that's what I'm telling you. Don't be so mad at people that do those dumb things <laughs> or wrong things because sometimes we are not, whoa, <laughs> because sometimes we are not aware of it, you know. Uh, be nice. Tell them good morning, good afternoon. Thank them. And they going to be aware that this step is a bike path. And they have to be careful. <laughs> so I hope you did like those little tips. We have to yell to protect ourselves. Sometimes a little bell will be fine or just a little little bell <laughs> and sometimes you just say good morning I really like to whistle yes because it's very subtle and sometimes you just want to tell them that you're there and if it's very quiet a quiet place I do just stop paddling because you know that noise if it's very quiet and you notice that the pedestrian or the cyclist, uh, it's somebody that, you know, know what they're doing. They know that you're there. So I hope you did like it. Thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please do. Because there's lots of quick tips that come in the middle of the week. And if you're not subscribed, you won't know. You know, YouTube won't tell you. So if you do like to learn things, I always want to share the things that I learn. I love to share everything that I learn. Hope you like it. Bye-bye.